वी विल गो अलॉन्ग विद हेम फॉलो हिज जर्नी सो यू हैव अ रियल टाइम एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ हाउ द इंजीनियर्स वर्क सो लेट्स गो So guys, welcome back to another beautiful day at sea. So today we are going to go to the engine room because the engine room is a place which is still not discovered by us. So stay tuned, and it's going to be a crazy, crazy day. So guys, that was the entrance to the engine room, and let's go down now. We are back inside the engine control room, and behind me we have the third engineer. Let's quickly introduce. Who he Hi. is? Hello guys, uh, I'm third engineer Dharmin, and I am on board Munke Bo Mars for last uh, couple of months here. So let's yes. see. So uh, yeah. Dharam, uh, just a second. So what are we going to do today? Okay, today I will show you some of my responsibilities. You know, as a third engineer, like I am responsible for generators, like boilers, and Correct. most of the fuel injectors on board. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So uh, what's happening today? So like here we can see we have four, three generators, one, three, and four. And right now we can see number four is running. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And also on the switchboard, we can see that it's already giving all the power to the consumers. Okay. Like we have seen that number four is running. So number four is running. It is giving the power. You can see around fifteen hundred kilowatt. Okay. Like that. Okay. So yeah, this is the one. So now we are going to switch over to another generator. Yes. Now we are going to switch over to number one generator or number three. We will see idling. Okay. We can Perfect. run it from the local side. Perfect, guys. So we will go along with him, follow his journey. So you have a real time experience of how the engineers work. So let's go. So guys, we are at the boiler platform right now. This is the boiler. And Dharam, he will just tell us a few things. Hi. As you can see that the boiler is running right now. Uh, we can see that the boiler is running. You can see the load, the condition of the flame, and all. We see from here. Yeah. Okay. Actually, you can see the flame. The color of the flame it is good. So that means our boiler is fine. Okay. And that's the fine. So uh, color of the flame is something which uh, you check to see yes. the condition. It is the one which decide how much the combustion is going on the air ratio and the fuel ratio. Okay. It should mix together and it's a good flame. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Dara. Let's go. So guys, as you saw, third engineer is also responsible for the boilers. And uh, right now he was just taking a taking a round. And now we will proceed for the generator startup. Now entered the generator room, and now let's see what happens here. So, uh, so now this is DG three. Uh, I will try to start it locally okay. because we have to test it before we are going to port. So need to test it first. Okay. So if you can see that on the screen, it is the engine start stop. I will put put it to local, and then the start date is okay. Let's start and then confirm. Okay, that was the shutdown of the generator. So let's ask the third engineer why exactly did he 
switch the generator on and then switch it off. So Dharam, what exactly happened here? See, the main purpose of the generator is to supply power to the to the gen to the all the consumers, right? Yeah. Consumers, all the lighting and all the appliances on board. Right. So we need generators. Now we are reaching port. So it's my duty that generators are ready to go. So that's why in a couple of days we are reaching port. So I made sure that the generators are running good. All the parameters are under uh, proper condition, and that's how I do it. Yeah. Okay, Dharam, correct. And uh, how much uh, power output is the? See, like we have three generators. One is very big one. The two are small one. The big one it can go up to four thousand five hundred kilowatt, okay. and the small one is around twenty five hundred kilowatt. So and this one was the small one. This was the small one. We just tried out. That okay. was the smallest one. And this behind us is, is the, the big, big one. one. I can show you just a second. So uh, this one I think has got nine cylinders. Yeah, this one is the nine cylinder. The other two are only six cylinders. So we are on the main engine, which is the number two engine right now. So, Dharam, what all are your responsibilities over here? See, as a third engineer for the main engine, I will go for the injectors. Okay. The injectors are here. On board, you can see this is the injector. So we got three injectors. This is number two injector. Okay. Now we have one board on the side. Okay. Yeah, and the one is on that side. That's okay. the one. This is the one. So three the injectors. Inject And uh, you are standing. This is the exhaust wall. We can see okay. this is the exhaust wall itself, and the starting air wall. This one. So this is the starting air. This wall. is the starting air wall. So as a third engineer, I am responsible for the top accessories on the main engine. Okay. Perfect. So I take care of all these things. To demonstrate a better example, we have a injector which is open, and we'll go to the workshop and show you how exactly it looks from the inside. we are in the workshop of the ship and uh, dharam he will just explain to us what exactly the injector is for and how it looks so dharam the injectors are for the injecting the fuel okay. yeah it has the proper atomization so this how it looks like from inside okay this is the nozzle all the thrust suspender this non return ball all the thrust spindle this is how it looks like from inside when you overall an injector okay and i have got some uh, injectors which are already been assembled here see These are assembled and it's for ready for use. Okay, so they are already overhauled and fixed and assembled. Yeah. So the next time, next overall, we can fix. It's ready to use all the injectors. And these are the starting air valves, which is already been assembled. Okay. So it's ready to fix on the engine. Yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Ayush is also here, as you saw in the previous videos. He gave us the tour of the entire engine room. And Ayush, what is happening today? Wow, uh, we are fixing the steam leak. Steam leak, yeah. and you can you can <laughs> Why not so happy? look look at his condition, guys. It's uh, really uh, it's actually quite humid inside yeah. today, and you can see like the amount of this is real, guys. This is not a script. It's you can see steam bath, yeah. the steam bath he has gone through, and uh, just to maybe fix a valve, steam leak, yeah. a steam leak valve. So uh, yeah, that's our fourth engineer, third engineer, and today is actually a Sunday, and they're still working. So uh, yeah. at sea, there are no days Wonderful off. Yeah. Sunday, yeah. No Sundays. On the at sea, yeah, Ayush. Yeah, yeah, no My God. <laughs> What exactly are you doing with this uh, gasket? I'm trying to fit the gasket in the bonnet. This, uh, here. In the. Because this uh, hole is smaller, so we are making big hole. Oh, okay. The filing. Yeah, filing. So guys, uh, in the academy, you generally learn how to do all this, the filing and how to make a gasket. Even we were taught, but uh, it is very helpful on board. Yeah, it is very helpful. So please concentrate on that for sure, because you can see this is real time need of all of this, and nobody but the engineers are doing this. So uh, definitely a good learning. So guys, third engineer, he's just taking the measurements for the future reference, so it's easier for them to make these gaskets. And uh, fourth engineer, he will just. Clean all of this down. Yeah, just paint those uh, public filters on the inlet of the generator. Oh, 
Good enough, we'll open the valves manually. Just raise the line. Okay, that is how operations are being conducted right now between the third engineer and the second engineer. They are doing something regarding with the heaters. Yeah, yeah. We are trying to put back the generators from fuel oil into the diesel oil. Yeah, we have okay. to convert the fuel. Okay. So basically, the fuel oil is on higher temperature and viscosity. So okay. we need to get down to the diesel oil. So for diesel oil, we need to stop heating and put it on cooling. So we don't want uh, the diesel oil to heat up like 130 something. Yeah. So generators can work both on HFO and diesel oil. Exactly, we can run on HFO as well as diesel oil. So right now we are in the process of converting one generator into HFO from HFO to diesel oil. Yeah. Okay. And why do we do this? Just uh... see, we are doing it. First of all, we are in the ECA area. It's especially if you are in the emission control area, we have to convert the fuel. Yeah. We okay. cannot run more than sulfur like 0.1 percent. So that's why we are doing it. And uh, everything is controlled through this monitor over here, right? Yeah. Few of them are from the control from the monitor, but. Some of the walls we need to be open manually, and then we can see now. Yeah. So now uh, I'll just ask Dharam a few important questions. Number one question being Dharam, what is exactly your responsibility as a third engineer? What all do you look after? See, as a third engineer, I basically my is generators, boilers, and the topmost engine parts, including like injectors and starting air valve that I take care of. Yeah. Which which we showed you, right? Yeah, which already been seen. Okay. Yeah. And uh, next question is. What do you expect from a cadet as a third engineer? What would you like for a cadet to know already, and what is what he should do? See, when a when I see a cadet, if it is a first cadet ship, okay, I can really understand that he might not know much of the things in practical, but by theory, he should be very thorough about it. Yeah, some of the transfers of the fuel, all the internal transfers, some especially the basic things like gasket making is not a big deal, but he should know how to make a gasket. and all this uh, small small things you should basically know. which we just uh, showed so dharam uh, what time do you start your day and when does it generally finish see my day start as morning like uh, 7:30 7:30 to 8 is our breakfast and then 8 o'clock till 1700 by the evening time i am done with the, my job in between i got of course some breaks like from 3 to 3:30 and 10 to 3:30 i had a half an hour break in between and of course a lunch break between 12 to 1300 so that's how it's done okay yeah. And this is every day, uh, seven days a week. Seven days a week. Uh, if sometimes our management is happy, we might get a Sunday holiday. Okay. But it's not the case for today. So yeah, we are still working on Sunday. So we are approaching a port. The guys are busy. So uh, that is why it's not a very easy life as uh, as it as it looks. Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, to keep on uh, keep on running the ship and the machineries. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Dharam, uh, uh, what? Uh, when do you get promoted next? How much how, how much sea time do you have as third engineer now? See, for me, I already have like around two years of sea time as a third engineer on my present rank. Okay. And uh, I got a recommendation to be a second engineer soon. So hopefully, my next contract will be as a second engineer. So next contract, guys. Uh, okay, I will not reveal it yet. We will not reveal okay. it. It's going to happen soon. So money, don't. Money. Oh, you see over there the money. black bunny. <laughs> But yeah, we'll keep that a secret. But anyway, thank you so much, Dharam, for yeah. uh, taking time out for us and showing us around. So uh, do subscribe to the video. So and share it. And uh, what is that? Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>